Community youth organizations coming together to help parents and teachers find some solutions, safe places, activities, and jobs for our, our youth. They're calling it Save Our Youth. Jason Watson, Senior VP of Engagement with Mission STL, is joining us now live with what we can expect uh, to get into during this public forum coming up. Good morning to you, Jason. Good morning, good morning. Thanks for having me. Uh, my pleasure. So first off, um, uh, of course, we report on the news every day. Um, unfortunately, a lot of our crime um, involves the youth. So tell me a little bit about the press conference you guys had yesterday and how that went. Absolutely. So the press conference was really just a gathering of community members, community organizations, really to raise our voice and to say, listen, we are tired of the violence that we see. But I think more importantly, we wanted to make sure that individuals are aware of the programs that's taking place, the many people that are committed to the work that's going on in the city. Yeah, and Jason, this topic really hits home for you. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about your own personal experience. Yeah, so my son was shot um, back in October two times in the hand and in the leg, uh, an attempted robbery situation, mm -hmm. wrong place place wrong time and it's very interesting because when we think about this work it's actually a particular community partner the brick that removed the bullet from my son's leg so even just seeing that process and going through that with him and the emotions that come along with it thank God he's still here mm -hmm. and then not to even think about the parents who have lost children to this type of violence so I think for me it's activated in a different way on top of that my sister was murdered in 2011 um, so due to gun violence. So these are things that have been actively a part of my life. So I think for me it's really about activating because not only are we experiencing it and being impacted by it, but also we are witnessing others go through the same thing. Oh wow, definitely. So okay, so there's a public forum tomorrow and this discussion is going to continue on. Tell us a little bit about that and what we can expect to see there. Absolutely. So there will be a public forum tomorrow, Saturday uh, at Harristow mm -hmm. from 10 to 12. And basically the real focus is to continue this conversation. How do we get together as community members, community partners, community organizations and begin to talk about solutions, not just the problems? And I think also to say, it's no time for us to throw rocks at each other, right? Often we wanna talk about, we feel like we are the experts in the field and I'm not the expert other than what I do. And what I come to realize is that it's important for us to not just come together, but to respect the work that we do and to be involved in what's going on together as we collaborate and partner to see impact in the city. All right, Jason, thank you so much for coming on and sharing this information with us. Uh, this happens tomorrow. Tomorrow. Uh, 10 to 2 at Harristow State. And you guys would like to hear this information again. Just go to our website, fox2now.com, and everyone is invited to get in on this conversation. Margie, talk.